are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the L.A. Dodgers and the Minnesota Twins. The Dodgers look to extend their historic winning streak to 18 right after this. Yo, what is up, YouTube? I hope you Randy guys are having a great twins. Tuesday. As Rab, Randy Dobnik is the pitcher for the Minnesota Twins. This is as they start there in 5, 3.57 ERA, 70.2 innings of work. Man, he's worked a lot through seven games. Holy crap. 70 innings already. Wow. Crazy. All right. Here comes the Mookie Betts. We'll lead this game off. We did make a little bit of a move coming into this game, and we just a little flipping around. Gavin Lux is no longer with the Major League Dodgers. He's with the Oklahoma City Dodgers as we put him into AAA. And now Kike Hernandez is back up with the main roster squad. Uh, just that performance in uh, Miami is just going to be a single to lead off this ball game from Mookie Betts. But the performance where he went like he went like 0 for 8 in the whole Miami series in a four game set. Uh, just I really thought right then and there it's time to make him go down in the minors make him work maybe for a month or two or three just like Kike Hernandez or until the postseason and call him back up here. Kike Hernandez has not been doing as good as I wish he was in the major I mean in the minor leagues he has eight home runs like 171 ABs a uh, cup maybe like 23 RBIs in the minors and his batting average is the 323 so I like the batting average I really did so that's why I brought him back up here Omar Estevez is absolutely killing it he should have been the one I brought up to the majors but I want to kick it Hernandez back to let him know that he's earned it he's you know he, he's been playing great baseball in the minors but Omar Estevez has been playing more better baseball as that's 2-2 two -two now uh, two, two. But Omar Estevez has been playing so much better baseball in the minors than uh, Kike. But why not call up Kike Hernandez, somebody who's been up here already. And I feel like he just he just needs to get, get back with the major league team to, you know, I don't know. Just I feel like it would really, really give him like a down, like a, like, a feeling where if we called up Omar Estevez, it just wouldn't be fair because I knew, I kind of knew earlier when we put him down in the minors, if I had to recall him back up, I was obviously going to, or if I was going to have to remove one of the main dodges like uh, Gavin Lux like I did or, you know, opt him down to AAA. I would have brought up Hernandez just because he started this season off with us, so he might as well rejoin us here as Donaldson's playing first. Cool. That's runner at first with one gun in the end. Alright, one one to Betts. I mean Beatty, two one. You just heard my brother's comment in the background. And if you didn't, he said I hope you have to take a crap in mid game just because we just ate ice cream and I'm lactose intolerant. So, we'll see. 3-1. <laughs> they know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 right, in this situation you. right here, three but one. I can't imagine anything comes over the heart. 3-1 and hit the right field for a base hit. And yes. What's up, no Coco Bet? All right, so a single. Uh, that's at second. And now that would bring in Cody Bellinger, who's hitting 323. 34 home runs, 76 RBIs. Struggled all last week against Milwaukee and Miami, but he's too good of, of a player. Well, he's, he's like, you know, he's a starter, so I can't really, like, like you're going to AAA, buddy. Strike one. Oh, one. He's just having a little bit of a slump. Oh, one in the 0 1 pitch. Cody Bellinger will be hit the left field and this one is gonna be gone a three-run home run from Cody Bellinger let's go 35th home run of the year for Bellinger to make it a 3-0 ball game here in Minnesota man it's awesome to be playing here I think just because you know I used to go to Minnesota over the summers that's where I was a couple of months ago and 
Yeah, now that will bring in Kike Hernandez, hitting 315, eight home runs and 19 RBIs in the, in the majors and taking ball one. So let's see what Hernandez can do here. 1 0. And now 2 0 to Kike Hernandez. <clears throat> Hernandez probably feels so thankful to be back here with the Major League Ball Club. 2-0 now. 2-0 will be hit the center. And Trouts. Buxton is back and he'll get there to make play for round number two. So now that will bring in Will Smith hitting 352. We take a look there at the difference in his numbers. Played way better in June than he's been doing in July. Ready. Here's oh, the first, first pitch from Double Binock, or whatever the heck his name is, Randy. Let's call him Randy. 1-0 to Smith. <clears throat> the 1-0 pitch. Will be hit Drives to right center out. field. Right this center one's field. deep. This one will be but off the wall. Off the it's going to be a scoreboard. double for now Will Smith. I thought that was gone. On the wrong foot, and it's hard to get back on the right one. That's the fourth hit he's given up here already in the early going. He's got to find a way to string some outs together. I barely stayed in the ballpark. Deep trouble. All right, I'll bring in Seager hitting 403, 32 home runs, 77 RBIs. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. First Seager. pitch will be hit and foul. Of course, a foul one. pop out of play to the right. Three runs already home here. All right, oh, one. And now 1-1. One, one. <coughs> one, one to Corey. I mean, yeah, 1-1 one, one to Corey Seager. And the 1-1 uh, one, one one. One pitch. 2-1. Two, one. Two. Well, I think he just kind of lost right. focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way. And he's thinking uh, more two, about one that than the one task at hand. Right now, he will be hit. And center. this one center. will not get through. What a play to end the top of the first. Jeff McNeil, wow. What, what, well, welcome to Minnesota, Jeff McNeil. I see you out here not playing with the Mets no more. What a play. All right. Tonight, David Price is on the mound. This is his 22nd start, 17 and 1, 3.10 ERA, 136.2 innings, uh, 94 strikeouts, 127 hits, giving up four walks. And Byron Buxton will lead this game off. First pitch from David Price will be struck one. Change they up. play here tonight. All you can From really Price. say is they've been on that one off. heck of a run. <coughs> so O2 now, and now, right now the O2 cut it from David Price. That, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year be if you get this hot. This team is rocking. 3-0 already right here now. in Minnesota They're in the watch. bottom of the first. The O2 curve Swing will be hit down to turn of the throw. The first one out. That's Matt Beatty's playing first. And Hernandez is out here playing second. So one out, and now they'll bring in Max Kepler hitting 267 for the Twins. That will bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. Oh, first pick from Price will be hit into the shift. Turner will ground it, throw it to Beatty Trouts. So, one. All right. Now they'll bring in Jeff McNeil hitting 286 for the Twins. And the first pitch will be taken for strike one. Oh, one in the 0 one curve. Hit the left field. And a 1 2 3 inning for David Price as that was a seven pitch inning. Guys, and yesterday, that was absolutely history. Walker Bueller with a no hitter in Miami. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, first pitch to drop will be hit to right center field. This one's deep. This one's going to be off the wall. And uh, we're going to run to third. Peterson. Oh, Peterson's going to get out. Darn it. Whoops. All right, Chris Taylor will be hitting. He's the DH in this game. First pitch will be hammered to left field. What a swing from CT3, and this one will be gone. 
30th home run for Chris Taylor this season. No surprise. And that shows the why he was an all-star. And he's probably right the now. only all-star who sits on the bench take a out of everybody in the MLB that. this season. All right, that will bring in Mookie Betts. So one for one. Betts, the right First pitch will be strike one. Oh, one to Betts in the 0 one pitch. Checks one one. Held up in time, ball one. All right, one one in the one one pitch. Check swing. Now two one. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there? Check pitch on right, a swing. Three one. Was even close to the and now hit the left Sky field. So will be caught for the second out. There, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Up next to the dog. Digging in now, the Justin Turner. Turner. 0 for 1 Justin. for him here in this one. Turner. First offering on its way. All right. First pitch. It'll be hit down the to third. So no. Picks it up. Throw to first. We'll end the top of the second. But the Dodgers add on courtesy of this solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 4 nothing L.A. Digging in, Miguel Sano. And they've got All right, Miguel Sano will lead off the bottom of the second. He's the biggest man on the trade block this season. Uh, I wonder if anybody will come snag him from Minnesota. That he's on the trade block. Uh, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if the Twins didn't let him go. Just because they're trying to make a playoff push. But you never know who can come get Miguel I'm going to go, so now 2 and the 2 2 scene, or 1-2. A lot of different ways to get guys out. A ball and two strikes now. The 1-2. One, 1-2 oh, one, and the 1-2 cutter. Turned on that one and crushed it. Out off. Pulled it a little foul. Even David Dahl for the Rockies, he's on the trading block. So I wonder if and anybody will come get him. That'd be a nice pickup for any team who ain't the, ain't, well, ain't anybody in the division. So I'm pretty sure the Rockies are willing to let him go for some good pieces. As I'll bring in Mitch Garver in 209. First pitch will be hit and foul. Four strike one. What a play for the ball boy right there. Did he make that play? Sure looked like it. 01 in the 01 change. 0 and 2. You know, from oh, an offensive two standpoint, they already curve. knew they had their work we'll out for against the pitcher, but if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Oh, right, two in the air, two, two, some fastball to Mitch Garvner. We'll be one, two. All right, one, two, and the one, right two, there. curve like from this. David Price. Really we'll be ball two. And drive out of the ballpark. Even count two balls and two strikes. Oh, two two change up from Mitch Garvner I and mean, the two Mitch Garvner will be fouled. Oh, two two high will be fouled. Another try oh, two, two two and the two two change up will be Get hit and that ball is going to get through for a base hit. So a, base hit. a single with one out here in the bottom of the second. Darn. Boy, talking about making a pitch of work, you know. Eight but that's a big <clears throat> Nice to have that right there from Mitch Garvner. I got to be honest Ooh. with you. After the seventh pitch, now that will bring in. in swing mode. He could have thrown the rosin. Nelson Cruz hitting 287, so 29 home runs, and 74 RBIs. Look at the Minnesota Twins mascot getting that place riled up. Getting Target Field riled up. First pitch from Price to Cruz will be taken for strike one. Cruz had an all right series in LA when Minnesota was there. Hit a home run against Tony Jansen to keep a game going. Uh, they still lost that night, but he he knows how to hit off these Dodger pitchers. One on one cutter. And foul. Alright, one two and the one three change up from Price will be fouled. Alright. Two and the one two down. two seam fastball from David Price will be and fouled. It's fouled away. All right, one two curve. 
hit, and Turner's going to only be able to get one and two. I wanted to try and flip it to second, but that would have been a hard one to turn to. I don't even think we would have gotten an out there. All right, I'll bring in Eddie Rosario, hitting 255. First pitch will be hit, and Beatty will take it to the back to end the bottom of the second. All right, Matt Beatty leading out the top. The third one for one in this game, and the first pitch from Randy Dobinek. Will be hit the left field. Feels like I got a little late on that one. This one might be gone, which it will be. What a swing right there from Beatty. 44th home run of this 2020 season. And it's 5-0 Dodgers. As that will bring in Cody Bellinger, who hit a three-run home run in the first. First pitch, ball one. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. One out of Bellinger. And now one one. Alright, one one to Cody and now two one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. He's right, getting back to being aggressive. And now Sky hit the right field. Right. Popped up, and that'll be the first out. One out. The batter number so the base is empty here Second with base. one away. And that okay. means the plug and play yeah. utility man, Kike Hernandez, will bat next. Ready with oh, the first bring pitch. Here Hernandez comes. 0 for 1. First pitch. Bounce ah, bad swing. There are the first checks. So 0 for 2 back in the Dodgers uniform is Hernandez. Now that'll bring in Will Smith. First pitch slapped down to left. And foul though. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Uh, one and now one and one. White catch the zone there, ball one. <clears throat> All right, one one and now two and one. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. All oh, two, even two. now, two and two. Now here it comes. Oh, two two to Smith. To and the strike out on the ball. outside Third corner. Great pitch. Anyway, we do score one thanks to Matt Beatty launching a solo shot on, to make it 5-0 Los Angeles here in Minnesota. Marwin Gonzalez will lead off the bottom of the third. Putting 267. First pitch popped up. Beatty running in. Beatty will catch it for the first out of the bottom of the third. All right, one out. And now that'll bring in Josh Donaldson, hitting 272, 22 home runs, and, third, and 49 RBIs. First pitch to Donaldson will be hammered to center field, and the former teammates. Wow. 5-1. to one. So Josh Donaldson and David Price played on the Blue Jays together, and right there, Josh Donaldson got the win right there against David Price to make it a 5-1 to one ball game. Off of the changeup, and David Price, and I kind of have a little smile on her face seeing that. Just Donaldson getting a little bit of a better swing than the pitch from Price, and that was, that was cool to see, 0-1. The 0-1 changeup. Okay. Two-game series here in Minnesota, so... Um, we, then we go back, uh, well, then we go to Arizona for the weekend series. Is that the second strike out of the night for David Price? And now they'll bring in Max Kepler. All right, first pitch from David Price will be ball one inside. All right, one no. And the one no two seam fastball, one one. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Price is ready. Here's the one oh, and one. One one cutter. And one two. 
Bases are empty here with two men. Oh, one two change up from David Price to Kepler will strike him out looking to end the bottom of the third. Over to the top of the fourth, but Josh Donaldson does hit a dinger. Dead center. That was beautiful. Can't lie. Oh, Seeger will lead off the top of the fourth. First pitch from Randy Dobak. Hit the center. And this one is high. This one will be caught at the 403 sign. One out. And now that'll bring in Peterson. It looks like 403 or 433. I don't know. All right, first pitch. Ball one. I'm going to strike one. One for one with a double. And then he's throwing out trying to expand it to a triple. Oh, one and now. Should be 1 1. Check swing here as they'll appeal it down to Eric Summerskill at third. And he says no swing. So it's ball one. All right, 1 1 to Peterson. And now 2 Fast 1. Well outside. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the <coughs> oh, 2 this 1 and the 2 the 1 pitch to, to Peterson. Will be hit the right field. This one will and not drop. That'll bring in Chris Taylor, one for one with the home run. Alright, first pitch to CT3. Will be fouled for no strike one. one strike. Now the 0 oh, one in the 0 one pitch will now be foul. Now ball to the left side, but this is a foul ball. Oh, right, two in the 0 two pitch, one and two, yes. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Set oh, to one on two in the one two, two pitch. Will be hammered to left field. This one might be gone, and it's another home run for CT3. Second home run of the game, and the 31st home run of the year for Chris Taylor. Wow. I love it. And now they're bringing back Rich Hill and Fernando Romero warming in the bullpen. Hopefully, we see Rich Hill. I would love to see the former Dodger in Rich Hill. One for two is Mookie Betts in the 0-1 pitch. Ah, uh, no two. Ball. Shouldn't have swung on it that one. Eight hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. All right, oh, two and now fouled that one off. Don't know how I got a piece of that one. All right, oh, two. And I'm now hit down to third. The Gonzalez will pick it up, throw it to Donaldson to end the top of the fourth. But Chris Taylor hits another home run in this game as that one was off the changeup. Alrighty. <clears throat> uh, Zach McNeil leading off the bottom of the fourth for the Twins. First pitch. Strike one. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this oh, One in the 0 one cutter. Will be hit the right. Betts is on the move, and Betts will catch it in the corner for the first out of the bottom of the fourth. And now that will bring in Miguel Sano, who's 0 for 1. The strikeout. Miguel Sano, he's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch will be hammered to left, and Peterson ain't even on a move out there and left. A solo shot, 34th home run for Miguel Sano. Man, that was the top. A that was a triple deck. Wow, and now that'll bring in Mitch Gardner, who's one for one with the single. First pitch fastball will be strike one. <clears throat> a one in the 0 one curve from David Price to Mitch Gardner will be hit the left, but fouled. Alright, 0 2 change up from David Price to Gardner will be 1 2. I love a well executed change up, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt right, high, one, two. miss your spot just a hair. And the 1 2 pitch problems. will be ball 2. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Regardless right, of the result right here, will to be down strike them out. Work it back to an even count. 
got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Now Mitch Garver becomes the out number hitter. two this Get inning. That. Drew. All right, I'm bringing Nelson Cruz over for one. Two outs in the bottom of the fourth. Nelson Six to two right. ball game here in here as he looks at a ball high, Minnesota oh. at Target Field. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I gotta believe oh, this guy's going to be pitch exactly one. That. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. <clears throat> four run ball game here in the bottom of the fourth. We're up by four. Twins trailing by four, and this one's hit the right. And he'll get there in the bottom of the fourth. Time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. But not before the Twins get one, and it comes on this. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it's one of those games where everything has come together for his hitters. From their Your approach to please. their swings, the now results, it's all the working. Clean. One key indicator Number of that, 77. six extra base Heard hits to this point in the game. Okay, thank you, I'll bring out Fernando Romero. No Rich Hill, which is kind of depressing in my first pitch. It will be strike one with the 96 mile per hour fastball. Swing and a miss. Looking at his career totals, Turner is slugging north of 480, which puts him among some of the best power hitters in the game in that category. And Gonzalez will throw the first for the first out. Up next to the Dodgers. Oh, one pick one out, and now that'll bring you Matt Beatty, two for two in this game. First pitch, ball one. Six runs, eight hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. Oh, one zero oh, and one and one. one. To the Dodgers' first baseman. One, one. Two one. All right, two one. And now two three and one to Matt Beatty. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more right, three, favorable one and hitter ball spots, four. and that's especially true Perfect. when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He's one for two in this one. Oh, so pitch to Bellinger, one for two, and now two for three with another home run, five RBI game for Cody Bellinger. Oh my goodness. 36th home run of the year, 424 feet right there from Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger and what a swing, and now that'll bring in Kike Hernandez is 0 for 2. Alright, first Second pitch so will be outside, 4 ball 1. 1 and 0 oh the count, 0 oh for 2 for him to this point. Hernandez back in the majors today. Now the <clears throat> Don't know how long it will be, 1-0. Oh. Because if he two. struggles... This you know, if, if like I play him in maybe three, four, or five there. ball As games and he doesn't really get more happen. hits than, Nothing you know, he gets more outs than hits. As this one's hammered to left field. Then Omar Estevez will probably be called up. This one will be caught. Good, good swing right there. That was close enough to a home run, so. But if, if he struggles, so far he, you know. So far in this game, he's had all good contact, which is really, really good. As this one's going to be caught. Uh, to see him getting really good contact pretty much the whole game this is a good sign. Yes, he hasn't gotten a hit, but the, the signs are there that he's really trying to stay here, for, like stay in the majors. Uh, if, the, if he starts struggling or he's getting good swings but not getting hits and, you know, and it's constantly... Then we might call Omar Stevens and make Kike go back into the minors with Gavin Lux. And who can ever outperform each other will probably be the one who gets called up for that 26th. Uh, as this one's hit to the left field, uh, Peterson will throw it in. 
Right, Man, honey, thank you. Peterson time, don't got him. That's a double. A double. Lead off double. No but if uh, when September's call up, when September call ups come up, you only get one player now in 2020. It's, it's an interesting uh, role. It's an interesting thing for the season. I feel like whoever does better between Gavin Lux and Kike Hernandez, that's who will be called up as the first pitch to Gonzalez will be strike one. Gonzalez. <laughs> Six one and hits from both sides of the plate. Oh, one and this zero, the one two soon fastball foul it off. Free agent at season's end. Hey, this guy has been an absolute solid player oh, his entire two big the, career. Two and I expect him to have a ton strike him out. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. And, and the now that will bring in Josh Donaldson. This is who where hit a home run in his first debut. <clears> so let's see who could win this battle. Will it be Donaldson or David Price? With less than two outs. First pitch to Donaldson from David Price. DB strike one. I like this matchup. Two former Blue Jays faced each other probably a few times when, the, when uh, Price went to Boston. Is this one hammered to right field? Wow. Another home run for Josh Donaldson to make it a two run game. So far, Josh Donaldson has destroyed David Price. I threw that curveball outside right there, and Donaldson just reached for it. Look at that, reaching for it, and hit another home run, second home run of the night for Josh Donaldson. And it's a four-run lead for the Dodgers with one out here in the bottom of the fifth, eight to four. And now they're bringing Brian Brux Byron Buxton, who pops this one into center, Bellinger on the move, and traps. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So two outs, and now they're bringing Max Kepler. No hits to this point. All right, Ready to first deliver. pick from Here's David Price pitch. to Kepler will be strike one. Inner third let go, it's a called strike. All right, a one in the other one curve. Right hit. Side, and Hernandez, he filled it, third to the Beatty to end the bottom of the fifth. The but Josh Donaldson once again hits another home run, run off of David Price off of the curve. Man. All right, Corey Seager leading off the top of the fifth for the Dodgers, 0 for 2 in this game. And the first pitch from Romero will be outside, 4 ball 1. All right, 1 out to Hernandez, and second pitch will be hit to Sano, throwing the first one out. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The left bring in Josh Donaldson. One for two with a double on the ledger. I mean, that will bring in Jack Peterson. First pitch ball one. Lays off there, one and oh. Bases are empty, one man out. All right, one oh, and now one one. Sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. All right, one one, and now this one is hammered to right field. And this one will be gone. Nine to four ball game. What a swing right there from Jock Peterson. 35th home run of the year. And we don't get another run back. And uh, now they'll bring in Rich Hill. Look at this guy. This is his 30th game. 117 innings, 4.23 ERA. What is up, Rich Hill? I miss you on the Dodgers. Our depth for our pitching just doesn't feel that good anymore compared to last year when we had Hill. Like, okay, real life Dodgers, this, this is real life. This is what I'm talking about. David Price to opt out. Um, so now we have Walker Buehler, uh, Clayton Kershaw, who's hurt, Alex Wood, who is reportedly hurt, Dustin May. Like, that's, and that, like, what? I just, I don't know, our starting rotation went from being decent to, uh-oh, you only have maybe two pitchers who are actually good, Kershaw and Bueller, and Wood, but now he's hurt, so like, what does the Dodgers do, man? Man, all right, first pitch will be strike one. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. 
And the last Cutter. thing you want to do is fall behind when and you have fouled. to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Alright, on two to Jeff McNeil. 0 for 2 in this ball game. And the 0 2 changeup will be hit down to Turner. The play will be third of first one out. That's out number one. <clears throat> so one out here in the bottom of the sixth. Now batting. Not out bringing Miguel Sano. One for two. And the first pitch will be ball one. Lays off 1 0. Well, no, no, 1 0 Carter, uh, Cutter. 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> one, one in the 1-1 one, one changeup from David Price to Miguel Sano. 2-1. Two and one. Two one. Right, two, one in the 2-1 fastball. Foul it off. One half, nobody on. Right, two, two changeup will be fouled sit off. Back on the change up and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. All right, 2 2 cutter inside from David Price will be popped up. popped up. And two outs. And he'll put this away for the second out. Probably the last inning of work here for David Price. And now Mitch that'll bring in Mitch Garver. Taking in once Mitch. again, Mitch Garver. Garver. One for two in the first pitch from Price will be strike one. Price ready with the 0 1. All right, all one and the other one change up. Oh, two. Go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Down oh, two to a guy with all this all much weapon. Two and two fastball. Go to. be fouled. Good. And it's fouled away. All right, oh, two and the other two curveball from David Price. One and two. two the twins and one and two. Definitely not what you're yeah. trying to do. You're right, one and two to David Price. And the, I mean, from David Price. Like that will be fouled. Situation. But a curve like that is just asking to get punished. All right, one two change up from Price Lays will be ball two. Two. Up and he's worked it back to two and two. Mm, two two in the two two fastball will and be fouled. This one off. And How many pitches are there? Seven. Seven Price pitches in this A B. The two two, two change up will. Will be hit the center, center field. field. Bellinger will get there, will get there for the second out of the oh for the end the for the final the out of the bottom of the six. And I'll actually end the game for David Price. Says we're gonna warm up. Uh, really let's go with Blake Trinan so in the far. bullpen. <clears throat> All right, first yeah, pitch from Rich Hill. Over three is turn ball one. Twins are going to get a lefty up and throwing in the bullpen. Well, no, no, one old pitch from Rich Hill. Will be Hard hit. And McNeil and will throw it the first. Time, so the for the first out of the playoff of seven. And now that will bring in Matt Beatty, who's two for two. Right again. Matt Beatty. Matt. Beatty. Ready. Here's the first off. All right, first pitch. Laying down a bunt. Oh, this one this is going to be a base hit for Beatty. What a bunt. <clears throat> what a bunt from Matt Beatty. Sometimes you just need to poke a little bunt down. So that will bring in Bellinger two for three. Oh, first pitch. Maybe. Ball one. You know, knowing Rich Hill, that bunt probably pissed him off. Rich Hill hated the shift. And I only know that because he played for the Dodgers. And there was a uh, there was a game against uh, this one's gone again. Third home run of the night for Cody Bellinger. But there was a game against Tampa. I think it was last year. Mm -hmm. It was last year. Rich Hill had a no hitter going, and the shift was on, and somebody just bunted it like Matt Beatty did, and they ended the no hitter. He was so pissed off, and who could blame the man? How about hitting As that, it would be the third home run That's for Bellinger tonight, and now that bring in Hernandez over for three. First pitch, ball one outside. Ball one to start the at bat. One out. Only one out in the inning. And now one one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. 
overthrew the first one a little bit. One and the one one puts in Hildo Hernandez. One two. Hernandez behind the ball and two strikes. <clears throat> All right, one two to Kike Hernandez. And foul. Away. Staying alive. All right, one two to Kike. And now two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems oh, to make two, it two to Hernandez. On the opposing pitcher. And Slow this one will be rolled over the to Gonzalez. The throw. To oh. to first in All for two four night for Hernandez. Man. All right, that'll bring in Smith. 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 It was Real. a fly out for him in one his for last three. trip. Almost Maddie, First pitch, almost ball went one. deep his last AB, certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on All something. All right, 1-0 from Hill. And yeah, this side. one will be hit, and McNeil, nice play Off to end the top of the seventh. Nice play there is decided. Oh, right, that'll bring in Cruz, and that'll bring in Blake China. Uh, 4.38 ERA. Still working on that to get a lower. He's been pitching great out of the bullpen lately, so. First pitch from China. Will be strike one. Well, one in the old one fastball. Just two. behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. Oh, we all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, slider. but if he could throw some four-seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. One ball and two strikes to count. All right, one, two, and the one, two pitch. Nope. Two and two. For a ball, it's two and two. All right, two, two cutter from trying into the cruise will be hit to center field for a base hit. Lined into center field for a leadoff single. So single lead off the bottom of the seventh for the Twins. Now right that'll bring in Eddie Rosario. Alright, first pitch from Trinan will be strike one. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Alright, well, one and one, one slider. Foul it off. Alright, oh, two in the air, two fastball from Blake Trinan, one, two. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. A runner at first with no outs here. Alright, oh, one, two, the one, two slider. No way oh, outside, two, two. Alright, two, two from Blake Trinan. Will be a, a foul ball. Shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. <coughs> All right, two, two uh, fastball. Two, two, one more time. Will be foul fouled off. off. Ready right, with two, another two, 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 and the slider will be fouled again. All right, two, two, and the two, two cutter will be popped up. up. Behind home plate, and Will Smith will there. catch it for the first out of the bottom of the seventh. He hauls it in for the first out of the inning. One out. And now they'll bring in Marlon Gonzalez, hitting from the left side for the first time in this game. He's hitless in three at bats. All right, first pitch will be ball one high. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. <clears throat> Fourteen pitches for so far through the three batters. 1-0 oh, and the 1-0 nice slider, 1-1. One, one. One anyway. Alright, 1-1 one, one sinker. A It'll be hammered to right field. And Marwin Gonzalez with a two-run home run. 13th home run of the year. And it's 11-6 here in Minnesota. And now that will bring in Josh Donaldson. And we're going to start warming up Dylan Floro. If you're Blake Trinan, all you can say is, that's crazy. He's been pitching so good for us lately. I don't know. 1-0 in the 1-0 pitch, 1-1. Laura warming in the bullpen in the 1-1 slider from Trinan. 1-2. And back here with the slider. 2-2 two for two is Donaldson. And this one will be hit. Hernandez will field it. And... 
can't get it tries to bare hand it and uh Wow. All right, that was bringing Brian Buxton. And now that will bring in Dylan Floro. Blake Trinan couldn't get it out of that inning. Should have had two outs ending that inning. Well, getting out, but. And uh, Dylan Floro drops his glove. 2.17 ERA, 23 strikeouts, one walk. First pitch to Brian Buxton will be strike one. It's been a while since Floro's pitched. Oh, one slider, one one. Hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. <clears throat> All right, Runner one one change up and Blake popped up bunt and one out. And he makes the I mean two outs. All right, two All outs right. now, and now Lighting they'll bring in Max again. Kepler. Max Kepler, no hits in three Kepler. tries so far. He struck out once. All right, first pitch, first the pitch fastball, the strike one. And he throws the fastball by him here, zero and one. They've done a real oh, nice oh, job. Oh, one changeup from Dylan Floro. No it and this so one's foul. Two in the O2 slider from Floro. We'll strike him out to end the bottom the of the seventh. Of the but the Twins do score two points off so of Blake Trinan. And Dylan no Floro came out and got those two outs, but Trinan couldn't get. All right, I'll bring in this. I will bring in uh, the, next, the, former all -star the good old Rich. Uh, I mean, Corey Seager Ross stripping, warming in the bullpen. On the first pitch, will be ball one. <clears throat> one oh, the Corey Seager. And now hit, and McNeil will throw it the first for the first out. So the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Oh, now bringing Jock. For two. Last time up. Ready to deliver. Right, Here's pitch. the first pitch. Strike one. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the right, old one. one. And now second. hit. And. McNeil's throw, and the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The bat of the plate now is the yeah, designated bring in Chris Taylor. Chris Taylor, two, two for three. Runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could pitch. possibly we'll strike again. Rolled over, and Rich Hill can't oh, make the play. That should be an error, or maybe a base hit, and now that will bring in Mickey Betts, one for four. Right Oh, first pitch, strike one with the 12-6. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Oh, one. One, one and one, one to the Dodgers leadoff man. He's got to find a way to grab some composure out there and not let this inning get away from him. He was dominating. Oh, one, one. And now he goes out Taylor and going. Out and, and now two, one, one and Taylor will be safe. Well behind the play, that's an easy stolen base. Clearly, they're not satisfied with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. You don't want to disrespect right, your one to do that blowout game, but I don't think And this one's hammered to left field, and it's going to be 13 to 6. What a swing from Betts. 47th home run, and like, I don't know, the eighth one lately. He's. Mookie Betts has been dominating up the plate, and I love it. And now that will bring in uh, Jake McGee, former Rocky. Real life Dodger now, which is an absolutely disgrace. All right, first pitch. And Turner will hit this one to center for a base hit. I hate Jake McGee. I really do, guys. Okay, I don't hate him. I just really, really think he sucks. So do Rocky fans. I know. All right, here comes Matt Beatty, three for three. And strike one. That I never really ever turned around to even though it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. Trying to keep it going. A oh, perfect one and now one one. Inside with the sinker and that'll keep him honest <clears> at the play. He went deep earlier so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send. Right, to one one pitch from McGee. At the very least they're clearly and hit in front of the plate. Gardner will pick it up. Again. Throw it to first Throw to end. The top of the eighth. 
Well, Jeff McNeil will lead off the bottom of the eighth. And uh, Dylan Flora will stay out. First pitch will be hit the left center field. Bellinger on the move. And Bellinger will catch it for the first stop. One out here in the bottom of the eighth. And now that will bring in Miguel Snow, one for three. Oh, first pitch from Floro, ball one. Oh, 1 0 and no one a slider. 1 1. Yeah, 1 1 and the 1 1 fastball. 1 and 2. Alright, 1 2 and the 1 2 slider. We will strike him out. Alright, two outs here in the bottom of the eighth, and now they'll bring in Mitch Garvner, who's 1 for 3. Alright, first pitch will be. Ball one. Alright, one oh and the one no slider from Dylan Floro. One two and oh. Well this is spot you'd like to be in. Two oh good hitter. He's gonna turn it loose right here. Two oh pitch from uh Floro. And he gets one over, it's two and one. Two oh one strike the count. Oh two one and the two one sinker. Two two it's two and two now. In my opinion, oh, one of the two, toughest two pitches in the game to is square up just a and heavy sinker with good downward action. Three Cruise on deck. Three two change up. We'll be hit to center, to center field. This might be a double. No, this would be a single. Oh, this so might be a double. Bellinger's throw will like not be on time. Second base as he legs out a double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are good. Good hit right there for Mitch Garvner. So now they'll bring in Nelson Cruz. Oh. One for three. Third pitch. pitch for a Strike double. one. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Nelson Cruz is <coughs> two away now as he looks at a one in the old one change up from Stripling. One one. I mean, one. La, 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 la. From Floro. One one pitch. And now hammer to left, and Matt, no, no, and Nelson Cruz is going to hit off. Nelson Cruz is going to hit a two-run home run off of that fastball from Dylan Floro. We're going to go talk to him on the mound. I want him to get out of this inning, man. 13-8 here in Minnesota. First pitch will be strike one. He's working on a one for three. <coughs> Alright, one in the O one changeup. Oh, one one. one one. Alright, one one fastball from Dylan Floro. And it goes and against, against the, the shift, shift for a base hit. The the left side. Oh, why would you run, second. bruh? What a throw from Peterson to end the second. bottom of the eighth. The side is retired. <coughs> runs on three hits right, Cody Bellinger will lead off no the tap of the ninth, three no for four. Cody Bellinger. <coughs> and the first pitch from McGee will be ball one. Take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few. All right, one out. Home runs in a single game. And now one one with the slider. It's a ball and a strike. McGee, former Colorado Rocky. He came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he oh, tells you he'd like to be playing and a hit the bit right better, field for a big hit. Who did the Rockies the trade for the, from the exactly Twins? Did you hear that? From a way of trade. I don't know. All right, that'll bring in Hernandez over for four. First pitch from McGee will be strike one. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready with the nothing in one oh, pitch. One, one. A little bit low that time, maybe outside as well. Oh, one one to Hernandez. High it popped up to right. right. And 0 for 5 night for Hernandez. Yeah. Now that bring in Will Smith, one for four. In the midst of a one yeah. for four day. 
First pitch from the B, there goes Bellinger. And it'll be ball one, and Bellinger will have a stolen base. This catcher's not known for his throwing ability, so you compound that with a big lead at first base. He had no chance to throw that runner out in second. All right, one out of Smith, and now one run. Oh, one one and now this one's hammered and this one will be gone will Smith with a two run home run uh, in the bullpen I, I looked like it was gonna be a triple decker 24th home run of the year for Smith <clears throat> 15 to 8 here in Minnesota now that will bring in Seeger we don't call it time we don't let Seeger get pulled out of this game we're gonna bring in Wilson Francisco Wilson will come on as a pinch hitter. <clears throat> Wilson can play short. Why not? Hitting 341, 12 home runs, 23 RBIs. First pitch from McGee will be ball one. He's got that average up over 340 now. A dozen home runs and 23 driven in. Fly ball out hit the left. That'll be caught for the second out. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Oh, that'll now bring batting, in Peterson. Peterson. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. All right, first pitch. Will be hit the right field. Right. And that will end the top of the ninth. Kepler is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom. Your Francisco attention, please. Wilson, Wilson will be playing short, and Dylan Floor will be pulled out for a Ross Stripling. Comes out the 2.88 ERA. Starting yeah. things for his side in the ninth. Gonzalez, now one for three of the home run, taking the strike one. Trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know oh, these bats still count. One in the one curve, these one run. Stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. One ball, one strike to count. All right, one, one in the one, one slider. One, two. Corner and slicing foul. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if oh, the pitcher one, goes two, to the no, well one, three two, times in a row. Will be fouled. And another foul ball. Oh, one, two, knuckle curve fouled. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The one, two. Oh, one, two, and oh, hit off the stripling. And he'll get up, gun at the first. And, have no play as he and they're going to say safely. Marlon Gonzalez is safe, which he is. Hopefully, now, Ross is okay. Mm, there's now. pitch to Donaldson. will be strike one. Trying to make her strictly end this game. O2. And the O2 knuckle curve will strike him out looking. One out here in the bottom of the ninth. And now they'll bring in Brian Buxton. So if pitch and strip lane will be strike one. One of the O1 fastball. Popped into right. That's getting under it. Getting ready to throw to first. Which Marlon will be back on time. Chats though. And now they'll bring in the 0 for 4 Max Kepler. The Rockies beat the Nationals. First pitch, ball one outside. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strike. All right, 1 0 in the 1 0 fastball. 1 1. Very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. All right, 1 1 change up. Hit the right field. And this one will get out of here. 10 to 15, ninth home run of the year for Max Kepler. Man, I feel like the changeups just ain't working against the Twins. Oh, right, here comes McNeil, 0 for 4. First pitch would be strike one. All right, 0 1 slider. 1 1. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay on. Oh, one run fastball hit down to first. Beatty will take it to the bag to end this game. So we get the win. 
15 to 2, 15 to 10 though. What a game here in Minnesota. Thank God it's over. We'll have another game tomorrow. Four for five, Bellinger, three home runs, seven RBIs. What a game. It was fun. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's game. We're, we're, uh, hopefully we sweep them.